Hey, Justin Sardi, CEO and co-founder of TubeSift.com here. And today we're gonna be talking all about how to create a highly effective hook for your YouTube ads. Now we do have a full scripting guide and it breaks down the entire scripting process that we use here. However, today I wanna break down the very first and honestly the most important part of the ad, which is the hook. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, as I mentioned, we have a full scripting guide and you can actually get that by clicking the link below. I'll link to that scripting guide. We have a whole post on exactly how to script an entire ad. But today I wanna to dive deep into actually crafting the hook. Now, the hook is the most important part of the video ad. And if you think about it, it makes sense. Now, the, when you watch a video ad, obviously that ad pops up and you have, to, you have five seconds before somebody sees the skip ad button. So you have five seconds to really effectively capture your audience's attention. And there is definitely a right and a wrong way to do this. Now, real quick, I just wanna talk about how if somebody skips your ad before 30 seconds, so five seconds goes by, the skip ad button pops up. If they skip that ad anywhere before 30 seconds, you as an advertiser do not pay for that video view, which is a great thing. So in your hook, you wanna do a couple of things. Number one, you want to hook them and make sure they don't skip the ad. Because honestly, you're running ads because you want people to watch your ad. You want the right people to watch your ad. So you need to hook them, but you can't just hook everybody. You have to hook the right person. And there's a very specific way that I like to do that. And uh, we'll talk about that in a second here. But just keep in mind that if somebody skips, you don't pay if they skip before 30 seconds. Now, that brings me to my next point. If you get somebody to watch, you want it to be the right person, right? You don't want somebody that's not the right person to watch for that 30 seconds and then be like, oh, okay, you know, that was a cool intro, that was funny, it was engaging, but this isn't for me. I only watched because that was engaging, right? You want to make sure that your hook is, you know, either funny, engaging, shocking, something along those lines. You just wanna hook people, but you wanna hook the right people, not just everybody. Now, I've seen some really great ads out there that uh, make everybody watch. And that's one thing if you're going for branding, but if you're going for direct response and maybe you don't have the biggest ad budget and you can't afford to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars just to get your brand out there, you need to make sure you hook the right people. And by hooking the right people, you're also going to push the wrong people away, which is, uh, you know, it, it's a win-win. So with your hook, you want to capture attention, but you want to capture your audience's attention that you actually want and not just everybody. So that's, that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. Now, when it comes to actually hooking them, uh, one of the best ways I've found to do that for let's say webinars, right? So I run a YouTube ads webinar where I teach people how to effectively run YouTube ads uh, and then I demo TubeSift and try and get them to buy TubeSift. Now, what I like to do is I start by thinking what is the end result that these people want? Right? So if I'm running an ad to um, you know, people who want to advertise on YouTube, well, what do you want when you're running an ad uh, on any platform, not just on YouTube? Well, I think about it for a second. Most people want a positive ROI. They want more money out than they put in. Right? So knowing that, I'm like, okay, that's going to be my hook. So I might start off, or I actually do, one of my best performing ads, um, I actually do start off by saying, I want to show you how so-and-so, uh, and one thing I like to do in my hooks, if you have testimonials or anything like that, is I like to throw those testimonials out there. So I might say something along the lines of, I wanna show you how Jenny over here was able to turn $5 into $100 using my simple YouTube ads formula. And I wanna show you how Tommy over here was able to get a 500% return on his ad spend by using a simple YouTube ad, just like the one you're watching right now, right? So instantly, I have you know, shown some proof in there, which is, that's great. And it's not just my proof, it's somebody else's proof. And I say, hey, I'm gonna show you how this person has effectively gotten this specific result that you also wanna get and then I jump into, and I'm gonna show you how to do it on a free web class today or something along those lines. So in the hook, I've already told them what they're gonna learn or, or essentially shown them the end result, right? Told them how I'm gonna get them there. And then, you know, they're hooked. If they're already interested in running YouTube ads, they're like, oh man, 
I do need to run YouTube ads. And you know what? These people got results. Seems doable. I'm in, right? While at the same time, if people are like, well, I don't really give a shit how this guy runs YouTube ads. You know, I don't want to run ads. They're going to skip the ad. So uh, it's a win-win there. And there's a lot of really creative ways you can do this. Uh, and Brady on the TubeSiff team actually did a couple of case studies, and we'll link to those below. Uh, one of them's like the Dr. Squanch, Squash, uh, sorry, I'm slaughtering that. But uh, it's a soap company, right? So we have we have uh, a couple case studies on that, as well as a few other case studies on some other very interesting ads with amazing hooks. So I would recommend checking those out, watching those, you know, just kind of brainstorming some ideas for exactly how you're going to hook your audience and how you're going to do it the right way without, um, you know, without hooking everybody. Because that, that's something that, that is definitely a problem. You want the wrong people to skip, but you also want the right people to not skip. Now, another thing I want to point out is that first five seconds is crucial because um, you, know, you only have that first five seconds before that skip button pops up and everybody has to watch that five seconds. You're not paying for it. So you're going to want to make sure that you utilize that five seconds to really get their attention because most of the time, uh, you know, a lot of people will skip. And if it's not engaging or even if it is engaging, a lot of times people just skip ads, right? And that's not a problem for you as an advertiser because you don't pay. However, uh, there's a thing called view rate, which is views versus impressions. So an impression is when somebody skips your ad and a view is when somebody watches 30 seconds or the entire thing, whichever comes first. Now, the higher your view rate, the happier Google is going to be because if you're not paying for these specific um, video views, right? If, if your ad's being shown a lot and everybody's skipping it, Google's not going to want to show your ad because they're not making money off of it. And that's their money maker is showing ads. So you want to make sure you have a high view rate, which is a view to impression rate. And you want to make sure that you do that by hooking the right people, right? Now, obviously it, it's, people are going to skip. It's not a big deal. And you do want the wrong people to skip, but you want the right people to watch, which is going to drive your view rate up, which is also going to make Google happy, show your ad more often, and get you lower costs on your ads. So that's it for uh, this particular video. Like I said, be sure to check out those case studies. Those will really help you wrap your head around uh, you know, best practices, some really good ideas. Those are you know, some, some amazing brands behind those ads, and they've performed extremely well. And uh, we'll also link to some of our videos that I've used personally below this also. So uh, if you like this video, please give us that thumbs up, uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, leave us a comment, all that good stuff. And uh, as always, you can jump over to tubesift.com and get yourself a TubeSift membership. We're making, um, we're, we're finding monetized videos will be a breeze. So that's it for me on this one. Bye for now.